Augustine on free will. In taking so much from him, the Calvinist overlooks the fact that Augustine clearly affirmed the free will of man. Moreover, Augustine argued that there is no incompatibility between God's absolute sovereignty and man's free will, and that to deny that fact, as did Luther and Calvin, would be impious. Augustine writes persuasively, We assert both that God knows all things before they come to pass, and that we do by our free will whatever we know and feel to be done by us, only because we will it. He who foreknew all the causes of things would certainly, among those causes, not have been ignorant of our wills. Wherefore, our wills also have just so much power as God willed and foreknew that they should have. Therefore, we are by no means compelled, either retaining the prescience of God to take away the freedom of the will, or retaining the freedom of the will to deny that he is prescient of future things, which is impious. But we faithfully and sincerely confess both. Augustine holds to freedom of the human will even into the eternal state. Neither are we to suppose that because sin shall have no power to delight them, free will must be withdrawn. It will, on the contrary, be all the more truly free, because set free from delight in sinning to take unfailing delight in not sinning. When it came to free will, Calvin ignored Augustine, as did Luther, and to maintain their theories, ignored many scriptures. Nowhere is the failure to use sound reason in exegeting Scripture more apparent than in Luther's debate with Erasmus over free will. This will be considered next.